requirements of uh, human resource development for our expansions and our competitiveness in the export markets. So here is this uh, mismatch and our business schools have to reorient themselves, they have to re-engineer themselves, they have to realign themselves, they have to actually revamp themselves from uh, the, their uh, obsession with the business models and business organizations that were winning and that were upheld and that were a need of the time of yesteryears. We have to see now what is future and how we can have, how we can transfer the concepts of uh, organizations and organizing to our youth and to our young who can exploit the export markets and right from their desktop, right from their position where they will be, they are, they are constrained, uh, they can find some market gap, they can arrange production and, and then uh, and see that the goods are transported and exported. So I think we need to empower the youth here to uh, enter into the export markets we need to provide them training, we need to provide them the necessary information so that they can play a role. And this is how, this is what we see is happening around the world, especially uh, in the emerging markets, that every individual looks across the borders, looks at, across the uh, continents, and then find markets, and then see what our sport competence and strengths are, and then arrange for production and then sell it. So I feel this is something that is lacking. This is something which is very challenging. We have a huge uh, gap of, uh, of uh, foreign exchange. Uh, it is, uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, we are indebted to those Pakistanis who work abroad and send back their, uh, their, uh, all their savings. Uh, it is because of them, because of the huge remittances that we are able to minimize the gap between the uh, foreign exchange. Uh, we get 20, 20 to 4, 24 billion dollar from the exports and another 18, 20 billion dollar from the remittances and that's how we are able to put up some a figure of something like 40, 45 billion dollar against the requirements of something like 60 billion dollar. So I believe that uh, we can do, uh, we can make a great progress here there is a gap that needs to be addressed and I think this invention to innovation once again can be, a, can be an avenue where we can find uh, the opportunities to, uh, to add value to whatever we are doing, whatever production capacities we have, whatever plants and industries we have already in place for which we our industrialists have paid for and they are already maybe under leverage so let's put them all function, make them all functional. Let's try to see that how they can capitalize and leverage their strengths and their productive production capacity, and they can then confidently go and uh, go abroad and then sell the goods and services. Because this is what we need to do. This is what we need to do to become a transitional economy. This is what we need to do to bring prosperity to our country, and this is what we need to do to provide employment opportunities to our youth uh, in this uh, huge, infinite, you know, uh, market of uh, international business and exports. So with this uh, uh, humble submission, I would like to leave and I wish to once again congratulate all the players who have organized uh, this event. The consistency and tradition is remarkable and we must uh, appreciate that. And the fact that it is now going out and it is not just limited to the heart, but it's all over the country, that's again a very remarkable progress. And we need to see more of these conferences so that we are able to enact an ecosystem which will take care of the, uh, of the youth, the, potential, the creative potential, uh, and the huge energy that is with them and then provide them the direction and the support that is needed so that they are not, they are not just on job, but they are also in business. Thank you very much.